Hi, my name is Dan Hansen. I'm 36 years old. Today is December 12th, and I'm speaking with my wife, Daniil. We're recording this in Kennewick, Washington. Tell me a little bit about yourself, when and where you were born. I was born in Vancouver, Washington uh, in April of 1985. Can you tell me about where you grew up and what it was like? Um, well, we only lived in Vancouver for about a year, uh, and the majority of my life was probably spent in Okanagan, Washington. Uh, it's a small little town up north, about 2,000 people. We had more um, cows than we did people, and a uh, one stoplight in the entire county at the time. Um, so it was very rural kind of out in the countryside um it it was it was nice it was a place where everybody knew everybody um you couldn't really keep secrets because it always ended up getting back to your parents one way or another if you did something you weren't supposed to be doing uh but it was it was nice it was a great little community did you have a nickname and if so can you tell me the story how you got it Oh, gosh. Um, Well, when I was in high school, um, the only nickname I can think of, I I was a cheerleader. And one time I went in early for a uh, practice session and nobody else had shown up yet. Uh, But the wrestlers had just gotten done wrestling and they had left one of their uh, radios on in the corner. And some music was playing. And I decided to do my own little warm up by dancing in the break room or the room. And uh, the other girls ended up walking in on me and I didn't notice. And I got the nickname Bootylicious for it, for the Beyonce song on the radio. Is that the song you were dancing to? Yeah, it was. (laughs) Are there any funny stories your family tells about you that come to mind? You know, not really. Okay. That's fine. What was what was one of the worst things you ever did as a kid? Oh gosh, I remember one time I got in trouble. It was something I didn't really think I should have. Um, we were eating Thanksgiving dinner uh, with the whole family around the table. And I uh, was eating very carefully around my mashed potatoes as to not let the gravy that was in the middle spill out. And eventually I got too close to the edge and the gravy started to spill out all over my plate. And I started to scream, damn it, damn it. Uh, As in make a dam to stop the gravy from spilling out. And my family got upset with me thinking that I was cursing um, using... Yeah. That word. That word. Can you tell me one of your happy child, happiest childhood memories? Uh, I think pretty much anything involving the holidays. You know, it was always nice being around family and friends. Um, Just that sentimental value. Yeah. I remember one Christmas we were all together, and uh, I had just gotten this boombox uh, and Deanna Carter's uh, CD that was big at the time and I started to play Strawberry Wine um, and my aunt and uncle uh, started dancing in the middle of the living room to it uh, and that was, I don't know, that was always a really nice memory Seems cool for me. Can you tell me about your brother and sister and how would you describe them? Oh, well, I only have one brother and it's funny, I think, how somebody can be so much like me and so much unlike me in the same way, um, where we we think a lot alike, but he has uh, a sort of confidence where he can step up and say what he's feeling, and I don't have that same confidence uh, in myself. So it's, it's interesting when he gets an idea in his head how he'll run with it. Uh, and I have always kind of respected that about him. 
Um, he's a very gritty individual, likes to work with his hands and be outside and fix his own problems. And I've always kind of respected his autonomy. Uh, I'm not quite like that. I'm, I'm more of a bookish, indoorsy kind of girl myself. <laughs> How did you meet your husband? Uh, oddly enough, it was online, back before online was really a thing. We met on, uh, I want to say, MSN Messenger? Mm-hmm. Uh, when he was playing a prank on one of my fellow um, dorm mates who he knew from high school. And I got involved, and next thing you know, we started to talk, and then the rest was history. What do you love most about him slash her or me? Maybe <laughs> um, a sense of humor. The way, you know, even in some of the worst situations, he just has the ability to make me laugh when I get stressed out or... Things like that. Do you have any favorite stories from your marriage? Um, favorite stories? Gosh. can't really think of anything in particular there's just been so many you know when we take our little trips together um like lots of experiences <laughs> hard to narrow it down huh yeah it's not, it's nothing really that stands out to me other than little times of us just kind of traveling can you tell me about what you do for a living i'm a nurse and i'm working in a hospital on the medical floor so right now we're very um, COVID heavy, which is unfortunate um, that now currently we're both out with COVID. this COVID bug, um, trying to make the most out of a bad situation in quarantine. Um, but hopefully I will be cleared for work here soon and um, get back to doing what I love. What did you think you were going to be when you grew up? You know, I think that was the problem, is that, you know, I always wanted to be something, but I didn't really know what I wanted to be. I guess, um, I just wanted to have a family and be a mother, and it didn't quite matter to me what I was doing, um, to get me there. But nursing fell into my lap. And I, at first I wasn't sure if it was going to be for me. And turns out it's actually right where I feel like I need to be at this point in my life. What are you proudest of so far in life? I'd say probably my accomplishments as a nurse, my professional accomplishments. Um... You know, it's it, it was a struggle to get through college, and then it was a struggle to find the right job um, and to find an environment where I felt like I could be myself and bring the my best set of skills to the table. Uh, and so that journey is probably the one I'm most proud of. Good. Well, thanks for taking the time, Danielle. I appreciate it. I know it's just uh, for school, but I really appreciate it.